Hello, this is the clock guy. I have a really nice clock to show you today. It is a wall clock. It is a banjo style, which is one of the only truly American designs. Most clock designs were uh, European with the banjo and the pillar and scroll clock of Eli Terry. These were um, truly American designs. This is a Sessions clock. Sessions was the um, takeover of the E.N. Welsh Company in 1903. William Sessions took it over because they were going bankrupt after some financial problems. So Sessions made mechanical clocks until the 1930s when they started making uh, electric clocks and then that business really took off and then the invention of TV they used a lot of their electrical knowledge to make timers and things for TVs and it eventually became more of an electrical company than a clock company but I'm sure just about everyone has seen a Sessions clock at one time or another if you're at least 50 years old This was a, the Salem model. I found this in a 1927 uh, advertisement. I think this was made in the early 20s until the 30s. I'm not sure exactly when they started and stopped this model, but it is the largest model that they made. It's 42 inches long and 12 and a half inches wide. It is a very large clock. So here's the categories. It is in mahogany. It's beautiful mahogany wood. Most of it is solid mahogany. There's some veneer, but most is solid. That eagle at the top, the finial, is solid brass along with the brackets on the side are solid brass. This is kind of a high-end clock, I would think. It's time only, so it's not a chiming clock. A time only clock is really just a nice, quiet timekeeper. It listed in the 1927 catalog for $47. And that is, I think, around almost $700 in today's money. If you went out and bought a clock and spent $700 today, this is what you would have gotten. It is not reverse paint. It is a reverse decal or design. I think they call it. And it is painted onto the glass. It has an eight inch silvered dial, so it was brass and then they silvered it. It has uh, convex glass in the front. Open it. It is a beautiful clock. All you do is start the pendulum, keep your key in there, or secret things, I guess. Yeah. There's the inside of the door and the panel looks similar to that on the inside. Show you that label in a moment when I take the clock apart. Uh -huh. 
mahogany, I think, is probably my favorite wood. I remember back when I was in wood shop in my younger years, in seventh, eighth grade, and then in high school, I made almost everything out of red mahogany. I just love that wood. It's a very beautiful uh, design. I think the geometric cuts in in the in the wood. Take the face off so you can see the inside. Okay, I've removed the face and uh, the neck cover and the open the front door. This is what it looks like on the inside. There's a solid brass. Eagle finial. See the movement is in really nice condition. It is time only. Just one winding arbor. And sides. There's a repair label in here which is Looks like it belonged to a certain hotel. I can't read exactly what it says. Hotel something Lynn. Del Lynn or something. May of 1939. It was repaired by a Philadelphia clockmaker. See the mahogany. Nice tight green.
there you have it. The Sessions Time Only Salem Model Banjo Clock. I think it's a work of art. This is the clock guy saying thanks for watching.